Is it in there? Yep. What are you gonna do with it? I figured I'd put it on my living room shelf, you know, as a nice reminder of our trip to hell. Seriously? No. I'm gonna use it to call the Undertaker out. I'm guessing he really wants this thing back. Why would you do that? You already beat him. But no one else knows that. If I want to earn the respect, pun intended, of the locker room and WWE universe, then I need to beat him again in front of an audience of actual living human beings. Now that I've had a week to come down off the Shango dust, I'm a little less sure about all this. So just be careful, okay? I will. And who knows, if I can lure him into a match, maybe it'll be so big my real parents will finally show up. Crazier things have happened this past week. Yeah. Maybe. Trey is in the ring with what appears to be the Undertaker's urn. I have no idea what's happening, but this should be good. You're probably wondering how I acquired this. But I'm going to save those details for some other time, mainly because you probably wouldn't believe me. But long story short, I went through hell to get it. Literally. So Undertaker, if you want a shot at taking this back, You'll have to face me at Survivor Series in a... Now come out here and accept my challenge. Come on, answer me. What's wrong? You too embarrassed to show your face after what I did to you in the plains of purgatory in front of your hordes of undead? I told you it was a crazy story. This is unbelievable. We haven't seen the dead man in years. At Survivor Series, you will not survive, but you will. Rest in peace. Trey's name is on that tombstone. Trey looks like he might be regretting his decision to summon the Undertaker from the dark side. Nonetheless, I can't wait for Survivor Series. Me neither. It might be the last time we ever have to see Trey. Welcome to Survivor Series, where later tonight we have an epic last ride match between Trey and the returning Undertaker. Yeah, and if facing the Phenom wasn't intimidating enough, he's dead set on regaining possession of his urn that Trey somehow acquired. Look, assuming this goes how I think it will, Trey won't need to worry about how he's getting to the next town. He'll be leaving here in a hearse tonight.
You have to wonder, what does Trey have to gain in a match like this? While the risk is certainly high, so is the potential upside. I know it's unlikely, but if Trey could defeat The Undertaker, that would go a long way in solidifying his status as one of the top WWE superstars in recent memory. I think there's a better chance Saxton wins Commentator of the Year. Wait, you really think I have a shot this year? No, no, I sure don't. Ah. Knee right to the gut. What a counter. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Undertaker looking mortal here. He planned for this and could still rally. Boom! Right between the eyes. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Evading possible disaster there. Bang! Cutter! Hooked up. Reverses. Can he make him pay? Being a sports entertainer for over 25 years will take a toll on anybody's body, yet The Undertaker continues to defy logic. Yeah, and he continues to silence any doubters. So many have asked, has The Undertaker lost a step? And that, guys, may be the most dangerous question to ask. You would be making a grave mistake to come at the dead man with misplaced confidence. Thank you once again for joining us at November's longest running sports entertainment event. This is Survivor Series. Byron brings up the question of Undertaker losing a step, and it seems as if the notion is constantly tested. Challengers continue to lure the dead man out. No one allows him to rest in peace. Everyone wants to see if the demon from Death Valley still has it. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. 300-pound running DDT! And finds a counter. Ouch. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Wow, can't believe The Undertaker got out of that one. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. He's executing on his plan perfectly. This could be his moment. A big punch. Ouch. He's in big trouble. Powerbomb! And Undertaker showing such creativity. Whoa, it's another reversal. Cutter! Straight punch. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Boom, what impact. Harsh impact. Oh, a battering ram headbutt. Undertaker had it scouted. Oh, my gosh. Oh, chin-breaking uppercut. Is this it? Is Trey going to somehow pull this off? Trey has the Undertaker in the hearse and he closes the door. Trey has defied all odds to defeat the Undertaker. This definitely quiets any doubts that people might have had about Trey's legitimacy. I'll admit it. I had those doubts, but what Trey did tonight was truly impressive. Maybe this guy's the real deal after all.
And that's how we opened a portal to the netherworld and summoned the Undertaker to the Earth Realm so I could defeat him and cement my Hall of Fame legacy. Uh, we're fine, thanks. I told you they wouldn't believe it. You know what? None of that crazy stuff ever happened. I mean, I mean sure, I, I beat The Undertaker, you all witnessed that, but, but could you imagine all that other wacky stuff? <laughs> Portals and Marsh Ladies and Papa Shango? <laughs> yeah, gotcha, joke's on you. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to things that actually happened. Like when I was the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era, holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship for over two and a half years. Our record-breaking SmackDown Live Women's Champion is ready to address the WWE Universe. Since I defeated Mickey James over two and a half years ago, I've had the privilege of defending this championship against the very best female competitors in WWE. But when you're the longest reigning women's champion in the modern era, it's only natural you start to look for new ways to challenge yourself. And considering it's a little wild west around here right now with no GM, I figured this was my chance to do that. So I thought about doing an open challenge, but that's a little played out. I could force myself to win with the four or five count, maybe, or I could do something really unprecedented and defend my title against male superstars. So what do you think? It's Becky Lynch and her savages. Uh, nothing good ever happens when they come around. Well, that's your opinion, Saxton. Personally, I think they're one of the best things going today on SmackDown Live. Well, whether you like them or not, you can't deny the influence they have over WWE. I'm not arguing with that. Ever since Becky Lynch took control of this faction, she's pretty much been able to do whatever she wants, except for taking that SmackDown Live Women's Championship away from Red. I have a feeling that could change real soon. So you want to give yourself new challenges like five counts or facing men? Well, I have a better idea. How about you forget all that and face the man? <laughs> it's funny you still throw around that title after all these years. I mean, I'm the one who's held an actual title longer than anyone since the 1970s. So I'm pretty sure that makes me the man. <clears throat> I am the man because I'm the leader of the most powerful force this sport has ever seen. And that's when there's someone in charge. So just think of what we're capable of when no one's steering the ship. So unless you want to find out what happens when we have free reign, I suggest you give me my title match tonight. If you didn't hear me the first time, I'm looking for new challenges not rematches against played out losers I've already beat. And you and your crew trying to intimidate me isn't going to change that. Besides, everyone knows you're just all bitch and no bite. <laughs> oh, well, if you're not gonna give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. Boys, little help. I'm going to show Red here my bite. Red is severely outnumbered here. 
So far, Red's holding her own. Not anymore. Becky Lynch is showing Red that she's not just all talk. Here comes Trey to help his best friend. I admire his courage, but Trey has no chance against these guys. It's, it's four on one. I told you, Becky and her savages are one of the best parts of SmackDown Live. It's clear that unless she can somehow even up the sides, Red faces an uphill battle to hold on to her SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think you're looking at the man who's going to end Red's record-breaking title reign. We gotta get even with Becky and her savages. How are we gonna do that? We're at a five on two disadvantage. We saw what happened out there, and we wanna help. Great. Where were you 15 minutes ago? We all had severe simultaneous leg cramp syndrome, or SSLCS. It's a real proven medical condition that can occur when superstars team as long as we have, and their body's ailments become synchronized. Uh, I don't think they're buying it. Look, the truth is that we didn't want to get involved in your business, and we know sometimes certain people can be a bit stubborn about wanting to do things on their own. He's talking about you. Nah, it could be anyone. It's fine. I know I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. I can recognize when we need help, so we'll take it. Thank you. So do we do like a secret New Day handshake now or something? How about you two rest up and next week we'll see what we can do about Becky and her crew. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg cramp acting up again. Uh, you, you guys feeling it too? You can stop that now. Not long after my issues with Becky Lynch heated up, SmackDown Live filled its open GM position. We were excited to see who it was. Well, until we saw who it was. Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM of SmackDown Live. Apparently she's traded MMA and Hollywood for WWE. This is crazy. This isn't crazy. It's genius. Thank you. I'm so excited to be the new general manager of SmackDown Live. Did you just come out here, interrupt us, and say SmackDown Live? She definitely said that, and I have 2020 hearing. Uh, you're off to a good start as GM. Please continue. Knowing that I was up for this gig, I watched the show last week for the first time, and I have to say, I didn't like what I saw from you, Red. Instead of accepting Becky Lynch's challenge, you resorted to cheap insults, which led to Becky having no choice but to defend herself. So, Red, you said last week you wanted new challenges? Well, I have one for you. You're going to defend your women's championship in the first ever best out of five team match. It will be a one night series of singles matches between Red, Trey, and your buddies The New Day, taking on Becky Lynch and her savages. If Red's team wins the series, she retains her title. 
If Becky's team wins, she is the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. She just said it again. The name of your show is SmackDown Live. Say it with me. SmackDown. Town makes more sense, but whatever. Guys, guys, we're losing track of the fact she just put us in a best out of five series for Red's title, which seems super unfair. I mean, who would do such a thing? Who? 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 Hey, I know we formed an alliance, but that's kind of our thing, okay? With all due respect, you're really stacking the deck against Red, so I have an idea that would help even things up a bit. You give our team home field advantage. That's right. If Red's putting her title on the line under these circumstances, then the series should take place on our turf. What kind of turf are we talking? Synthetic or natural? Because I prefer a natural tall fescue. I meant more of a New Day home arena vibe, but we could look into the fescue. I like what you're thinking, except Becky's team should have an equal opportunity to secure home field advantage. So later tonight, it will be Red and a team member of her choosing versus Becky and a partner of her choice. The winner of that match will earn home field advantage for their team in the best out of five series. Who's it gonna be, Red? Yeah. yeah. Who? 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 That was a test, and you passed. Good job. There's really not a bad choice, unlike the choice of Brooklyn as GM. Ooh, she just laid the smack town on her. <laughs> so I'm going to team with... Great decision. Ooh, I can smell the sweet aroma of tall fescue headed our way. Home field advantage is on the line later tonight on SmackDown Live. SmackDown Live's new GM has put Red in a situation like we've never seen before. She and her partner must win this match to earn home field advantage for a best of five series between Red's team and Becky Lynch's Savages with the SmackDown Live Women's Championship on the line. I am still shocked that Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM, so I can't imagine how Red and Trey must feel. They've been rivals with Brooklyn since they were teenagers. Brooklyn Von Braun is an accomplished professional. I'd be very surprised if she let an age-old high school grudge get in the way of her job as general manager. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised at all. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Coles. She is just dominant right now. The momentum is clearly turned to her favor. Inverted suplex! Becky Lynch may be in trouble here. Ah, oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Look, I'll give the Irish last kicker this. If time has proven anything, it's when Becky Lynch gets on a roll, her opponent better watch out. On a side note, I must admit, Lynch has some of the best arm drags since WWE Hall of Famer Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Big boot! And Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Boom. Drop kick! And there's the reversal from Finn Balor. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. 
I'd like to add something to what you said about Becky Lynch, Corey. The Irish-born superstar has incredible offensive ability. You can tell when Becky starts to take over a match. And yes, the arm drags are definitely an homage to the Dragon. And Michael, when Becky Lynch starts to heat up in the ring, her opponents usually get burned by some straight fire. Buster. Now it's Becky Lynch fading a bit. She's in control. You're an Augie. Big move coming. Neck breaker. She's got her. Back breaker. Uh-oh, no, don't do this, don't do this. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Ooh, neck breaker. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. She steers clear there. Things aren't looking good for her. Oh, look at his aggression in the corner. Yeah, looks like Becky Lynch could be done for. I'm not used to seeing this. Oh, gets the tag. Wasn't expecting that. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Gut buster. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. What's he got in mind? Downward spiral. See ya. Oh, here we go. A uh, big punch. Ouch. He caught him slipping. It is clear Finn Balor is feeling the pure brutality of this fight. He has got to fight back. Finn Balor fought an injury to become Universal Champion. Now he needs to fight that hard again right now. Now in full control. Down with a power bomb. He has become relentless at this point. Training, strategizing, and execution. It's all coming together right now. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Knee right to the gut. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Whoa! And Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Takes him down. Forget about it. Oh, he's got him up high. The fall away slam. to the top rope all the way for the top he paid for that one oh man big time in comes becky lynch oh the reversal by becky lynch oh now it's becky lynch making her pay boom oh, oh, what an uppercut sorry 
Oh my God. I Changes her fortune there. Oh my God, that's gotta hurt. Things have gotten worse for Becky Lynch. She could be out of this match. If yeah, things look... Oh, here it comes. Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. It's not gonna be good. Good night. She's closing the book on this one. Does Becky Lynch even know where she is? Ugh, heavy duty right hand. And here's a cover. What a punch. Boom! Right between the eyes. Kick. Oh, what a kick. Uh-oh. High angle belly to back suplex. Tying up the legs now. Oh, look at the surfboard. Uh-oh, no, don't do this, don't do this. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. She's got the shoulders down. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Oh, and she makes an escape. Probably looking to catch her breath, I would guess. Hammerlock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. And she's getting, and this has got to be it. I can't believe it. I hate to question her, Cole, but that was just plain silly. Why would you do that at this point in the... Uh-oh. Look at this. Blue Thunderbomb. This has got to be it. Shoulders on the mat. One, two, three. And this tag's over. What a win. There's plenty of reason for celebration tonight. She was really on her game here tonight, right from the opening bell. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing contest that was. Welcome to a very special New Day themed event where Red's SmackDown Live Women's Championship is on the line in a best of five series. This looks like an arena that was designed by a four-year-old who's been eating too much paste. Stay classy, New Day. It's different, but I kind of like it. I have no doubt that you do. Welcome, everyone, to the best of five series for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Where our team, as you might have noticed, has home field advantage. Do you like what we've done with the place? Ooh, look at the tall fescue ramp. It's amazing. This is the best looking setup for a show since they used to bring Mr. McMahon's home to the In Your House events. Wait, what did you just say? Yeah, yeah, you know how they used Mr. McMahon's home as the old In Your House entrance? My uncle knew a security guard who knew a janitor who knew a concession stand worker who worked at one of the arenas and he told him 
that it was Vince's actual house. We need to have a talk later. Guys, guys, we could continue to dilly-dally or we could get things started with the first match. I'm normally a strong proponent of dillying and dallying, but I think we should get to some action. In that case, let's kick things off with our first contest of the evening. You're up, Kofi. We're going to get the best of five series started with Kofi Kingston taking on the bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. I doubt Pete Dunne or any of Becky Lynch's savages have ever competed in an arena like this before. Yeah, only in their worst nightmares. This place looks like New Day's storage unit threw up. And if I have to stare at these bright colors all night long, I might too. This match is huge in the sense that whoever wins will give their team an important 1-0 advantage in the best of five series. Yeah, these series are all about establishing momentum. You want to put pressure on the other team and make them feel like their backs are up against the wall. You both might be putting a little too much significance into this. It's just the first match. If a team takes a 2-0 lead, then we'll talk. For the... He just cannot be caught. Oh, wow. What a windmill kick. The power of positivity is fueling Kofi. That's what he does. Keep on the attack. He might have been waiting on that one. And the neck breaker. Uh oh. What a hurricanrana. He's taking some good hits. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Good buster. buster. Good way to fracture a rib. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Oh, oh man. Ugh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. Side rushing leg sweep. Ugh, double hand chop. And it's Pete Dunn answering back. And now that one's countered. Straight punch. Oh, and a kick right to the hamstring. Set up for the... Hooked up. And Michinoku driver. Oh, absolutely planted. Nice. Oh, goodness, that looked bad. Ooh, well measured. Gets done there. Too quick. DDT. Here it comes. Uh oh. Boom drop. I love that move. With the damage sustained by Dunn, he could be on his way out. Yeah, I don't even think he knows where he is. The bruiser weight is going to have a tough time punching his way back into this. <laughs> Trouble in paradise. Cover here. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Narrowly avoiding trouble. Yeah, that could have been bad. Wanted a little breather, I guess. Uh-oh. Back now inside the ring. He's taking it up top. Perched up top. He fails to connect. Yeah, that went horribly wrong. Straight punch. Info. 
Jordan suplex. That hurt. Spin kick. Neck breaker. Gets out of there in a hurry. Look at this. Snap suplex. Kofi Kingston setting a very good pace now. He's hitting on all cylinders right now. Nice monkey flip. Oh, no. And a reverse DDT. The oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. Here it comes. Uh oh. Oh, I love that move. He can end it here. He's got him. Kobe Kingston did it. What a huge win. Here is your winner, Kofi Kingston. That was a big pinfall victory right there. Kofi wins. Kofi wins because New Day rocks. New Day rocks. Sit down, Saxton. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. As match two of the series gets underway, I don't want to lose perspective on just how unique this situation is. We have Big E and Sheamus essentially competing over the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. This is groundbreaking content from our new general manager, Brooklyn Von Braun. And honestly, I'm all for anything that breaks the mold. I think I'm going to have to wait and see how the series plays out before I weigh in, but my initial reaction is this isn't exactly fair for the champion, Red. It's not about being fair, Byron. It's about entertaining the WWE Universe, and that's exactly what this accomplishes. Yikes. Stomping down! Sheamus looking a little shaken here. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Big attack from Big E. Watch out, E-Train might be pulling into the station. Big E goes for the big ending. Sheamus counters. Bro kick. This could be it. Sheamus gets the win, and more importantly, the series is now tied up in a win each. Going down 2-0 would have been a disaster for Becky Lynch and her Savages, but now it's a whole new series.
With the series now tied up at one victory each, this match is pivotal in giving one team a 2-1 lead and putting them a win away from taking both the series and the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think this is where we start to see the experience and cohesiveness of Becky Lynch's Savages take over. Even though these are singles matches, Red and Trey barely know the New Day. And if things start to go south, they could all fall apart. I have to agree with Corey. We know Red and Trey are tight, and certainly the New Day have been teaming for a very long time. But I question the kind of bond the five of them have been able to create in just a... Finn Balor lands hard. Finn might be hurt. Yeah, it looks like he might have tweaked his knee. Wait a minute! What's Pete Dunne doing out here? Well, maybe he wants to check on his teammate. That's why he's here. And Finn Balor suddenly recovers. He's going to the top. Coup de grace. It's all over. Was Finn Balor ever really hurt, or was this just a setup by Becky Lynch and her savages? This is unbelievable. The entire series just turned on that interference. Hey, what was I saying earlier about team cohesiveness? That's exactly how it pays off. And now Becky Lynch has the opportunity to beat Red and win it all. We spoke earlier about a team's back being up against the wall, and that's certainly the case for Red, as she faces Becky Lynch down 2-1 with the series and her championship on the line. That's what I was saying about this series being unfair for Red. She can defeat Becky Lynch, but still lose her title if Trey were to go down in the final match. Or Becky Lynch can beat Red right now, making this whole discussion pointless. I suggest we see what happens before anyone starts a protest. What a cutter! She's looking relentless now. Maintain the aggression. Inverted suplex. Uh-oh. And a suplex. Becky Lynch may be slowing some here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Whoa, not so fast. Wow, she turned that one around. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. This could be dangerous. You're an Augie. Setting them up. Arm is trapped. Pump handle. She's in control. Boom! Ooh, Down across God. the knee. Oh my gosh. Terminating knee smash. Ah, oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Ooh. 
Sweet. Bang! Oh, Becky gets the full control here. You gotta love this match. So many different things happening all at once. Becky Lynch has taken on a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much she has left in the tank. She's tough, but maybe not tough enough to get the win here. Uh-oh. Look at this. Blue Thunderbomb. This has got to be it. That could be it. was so close. I gotta tell you, I thought she was done there. Stomping. Ouch. Ooh, right to the gut. Oh, uh, now it's Becky Lynch making her pay. Oh, able to counter. Oh, someone call a dentist. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. One. Two. Becky with a takedown, looking for the disarmor. Can she sit it in? We got a cover. The match is over. Here is your winner, the Queen. Impressive showing for the win tonight. When it comes to impressive women, this girl might just top the list. Yeah, you can bet they're going to be talking about this match for quite some time.